Hello, my friends. Americans can expect some big changes from Congress over the next few weeks. Senator Joe Manchin is now urging that the Biden administration change their Build Back Better plan immediately. There are some Americans that just have two weeks left to claim an $800 direct relief check. Please make sure you watch until the end of this video for all of the details about the fourth stimulus package. Also, I will be giving away a $75 Walmart gift card four days a week. If you would like to enter the giveaways, simply click and like several of my videos and then comment below the keyword of each video that you watch. Remember, friends, that the more often you comment below a keyword on a video, the greater your chance of winning the Walmart gift card giveaway. As Finland and Sweden began the process of joining NATO, it was out of the wreckage of World War II that NATO was formed. And in seven decades that followed, NATO has proved itself an indispensable alliance, committed to a Europe whole, free, and at peace. But in recent years, doubts began to arise. Was NATO still relevant? Was it still effective? Is it still needed in the 21st century world? Today, there is no question NATO is relevant, it is effective, and is more needed now than ever. The indispensable alliance of decades past is still the indispensable alliance for the world we face today, and I would argue tomorrow as well. And the decision of Sweden and Finland, the one they have made, is testament to that commitment. This is about the future. It's about a revived NATO that has the tools and resources, the clarity and conviction to defend our shared values and lead the world. Sweden and Finland are already among our closest partners on a range of issues, from strengthening peace and stability, to advancing human rights, to taking on climate, the climate crisis and addressing food insecurity, from strengthening the global health to promoting development. Finnish and Swedish troops, Finnish and Swedish troops have already served shoulder to shoulder with U.S. and NATO. So taxpayers in the United States have less than two weeks to claim summer stimulus checks worth up to $800. Payments will go out to families who file their state tax return by May 31st, 2022. The cash back, which comes through a tax rebate, will help about 3.1 million residents of Colorado. Colorado Governor Jared Polis announced that the payments will be worth up to $400 for individuals and then $800 for joint filers. The rebates aim to offset inflation, which has taken a great toll on Americans' wallet. The Consumer Price Index came in at 8.3%, a few points higher than what experts had predicted. Governor Jared Polis said in a statement, that to qualify for the payments, you must be a full-time resident of Colorado. Information from the 2020 tax returns, which must be filed by May 31st, 2022, will be used to process these rebates. And according to the state, eligible taxpayers can expect to receive their checks in August or September of this year. Various other U.S. states will send out direct payments to eligible residents. In the state of Maine, about 850,000 residents are set to receive $850 rebate checks, which could arrive in the mail next month. Millions of taxpayers in the state of Illinois are also in line to receive payments worth up to $400 this year. Please leave a comment below if your state or city is sending out their own form of relief payments. Now, friends, here is the breaking news. Interior Secretary Deb Holland squared off with lawmakers at a Senate hearing that address high gas prices, oil drilling, and delays in the department's plan to hold more drilling lease sales. Deb Holland told the Senate Committee on Energy and Natural Resources that her agency plans to release a proposal for its next five-year plan to offshore oil and gas leasing by the end of this June. This is a timeline that would likely lead to a gap between the current plan and a new one. Senate Democrat Joe Manchin and many Republicans on the committee expressed concern that the Department of Interior 
appear to be delaying holding more oil and gas lease sales, just as gasoline prices are surging in the United States. Senate Republican John Barrasso said, The president says he wants his administration to encourage more American energy. Instead, Deb Holland's department stalls, postpones, and kills oil and natural gas lease sales. Your department is undermining domestic energy production, not expediting it. Energy experts have told CNN News that high gas prices cannot be solved by drilling more oil in the U.S. Holland told the committee the department has no deadline to start leasing under a new program, which will likely lead to a gap between the current program and the new one, during which the federal government cannot hold offshore oil and gas lease sales. Both Interior Secretary Deb Holland and Deputy Interior Secretary Tommy Boudreau have told lawmakers that the process of drafting a five year plan is taking much longer as the department tries to be. Deliberate, but that answer did not appear to satisfy Joe Manchin, the senator who is Democrats' swing vote on energy and climate legislation. Senator Manchin told Interior officials they were taking a lot longer than the deadline to get their new five year plan done. Friends, the key word for this video is lavender. If you would like to enter tomorrow's Walmart gift card giveaway, please click and like several of my videos. And then comment below the keyword of each video that you watch. And friends, do make sure that you are subscribed to my channel. Remember too, friends, that the more often you comment below a keyword from a video, the greater your chance of winning the Walmart gift card giveaway. The Biden administration announced last week it would cancel three upcoming offshore oil and gas leases, two in the Gulf of Mexico and one in Alaska. This is over a lack of industry interest and legal delays. The administration announced it would restart a dramatically smaller area of onshore oil and gas leases. The offshore cancellations threw the future of the federal government's offshore oil and gas leasing this year into doubt. So, my friends, do you think that producing our own oil will reduce gas prices here in the United States? Please leave your thoughts in the comments section below. That is the end of my daily stimulus update video. Thank you so very, very much for joining me here today. I greatly appreciate all of you who are watching my videos daily. To say thank you, I'm giving away four $75 Walmart gift cards four days a week. If you would like to enter the giveaways, please click and like several of my videos and then comment below the keyword of each video that you watch. Thank you so much, my friends, and have a wonderful and blessed Thursday.